हाँ सर प्लीज कॉन्टेक्ट में रहिएगा और अब मैं शुरू करता हूँ यहाँ की बात बस हमारा असेसमेंट वाला पार्ट देख लीजिएगा जरा जी 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 हाँ सब लोग स्टार्ट कर देंगे जी बिल्कुल ठीक है ये थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच तो सभी ओ कोई बात नहीं सर कोई बात नहीं थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू आप आए बहुत अच्छा लगा जी सो थैंक यू वेरी मच अगेन आई शुड से टू द रिहेबिलिटेशन काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया फॉर कोऑपरेटिंग विद अस दो इट इज़ ए टेक्निकल इशू फ्रॉम देयर साइड ओनली बट दे हैव काइंड इनफ दे हैव बीन काइंड इनफ फॉर अस टू रन थ्रू फास्ट देयर टेक्निकल टीम एंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस सेमिनार फॉर अस एंड वी आर लेट बाई टेन मिनट्स आई थिंक और डोंट वरी वी विल ट्राई टू फिनिश इन टाइम पूरी कोशिश करूँगा मैं आपके साथ ये बात रख सकूँ अपनी एंड आई अगेन टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस वन डे सेमिनार एक्चुअल देर आर टू सी आर ईज एस्टरडे वी हैड अनदर सी आर ई टूडे इज अ डिफरेंट सी आर ई सो अगेन आई शुड वेलकम यू फ्रॉम वी हाफ ऑफ अमन दुर्गा भाई देशमुख कॉलेज ऑफ स्पेशल एजुकेशन विजुअल इम्पेयरमेंट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली स्टेब्लिश एंड रन बाई द ब्लाइंड रिलीफ एसोसिएशन डेली एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस session and since you see there are so many tensions and during last 15 20 minutes that we are also worried about how to begin with how to start so there were so many technical glitches so don't worry but we are here and we will discuss uh, certain things and let us hope that this uh, again a session of an hour or so will be helpful for you will be enriching your uh, knowledge and I will try my best. So welcome you all once again. सभी साथियों का स्वागत है Let us start with the first slide directly. And today we are having it is on a role of special educators in the uh, TLM preparation. So I will be dealing with the first session on TLM for Braille learning. It is a teaching learning material for Braille. So how we can start from the first uh, this uh, slide? Uh, so just we start discussing about a teaching learning material for it is uh, which we are our always uh, best focus is on the visual impairment that i i think this is the most difficult uh, type of children that we are in our college in our is classroom uh, rather, rather should i i should say I, i beg your pardon actually there are so many tensions just uh, some times ago so there is a little bit of confusion in my mind also so about a, a tlm teaching learning material what decisions should we uh, have to take uh, let us take one by one uh, it is a selection of diagram i mean you remember your childhood when you were studying your different subjects suppose for a i mean working of your heart hriday ki kis tarah se karya karta tha working of the heart functioning of the heart and for giving this idea or concept to the students we were having in our test book at least 3 4 pictures uh, so you see hum samne se kaise dikhta hai from the front from the back from the side if you cut like this if you cut like this we talking of heart so how does it look where are the arteries where are the veins so at least there were at least 4 5 diagrams and then finally a working model just to just to make clear how the heart is functioning so now the new situation is that we want to tell this uh, theme uh, to uh, children with visual impairment so is there a need of making more diagrams or we can uh, do with the less number of diagrams what is the situation let us think you see let us take another example to make the thing clear uh you remember doing calculations on say for uh, formula of calculating the interest so can you remember do you remember how many questionnaires with having so many questions you have practiced on the same formula there must be at least 4 5 
questionnaires then having 10 12 questions so around 50 60 questions you drill you do drill exercises on the same formula of uh, interest is equal to p into r into t upon 100 principal rate time upon 100 so why this was drill for so many 60 questions why there was a need actually there are students there who needs practice and right? then only they can understand so now a question arises here suppose there may be uh, students also who can understand the concept in 10 questions questions were like this given the principal amount given the rate of interest given the time and you have to calculate the interest maybe otherwise interest is given and you have to calculate the uh, the the which we call it principal money interest is given uh, so time is given there is one thing we have to calculate other things are given so there were so many calculations on the formula now it uh, it may possible that there are brilliant students in your classroom that they can understand the concept in a uh, one questionnaire of 12 questions so what is the situation here is this a need of this hour having our inclusive classroom with different i mean uh, type of disabled children in the classroom so is there a need of making more diagrams or less diagrams will be uh, doing your purpose so this is the question this we have to decide here so selection of diagram so there must be a theme actually about a teaching learning material so we have to select the diagram how many diagrams we have to make according to our need and when we are talking when we are talking uh, i think some mosmi datta has raised uh, her hand so is there any question is there any question you can write down on the is uh, chat box your query we will discuss this later on we can discuss later on uh, it is if it is not i mean very urgent to ask you please write down your question in the chat box we will discuss it later on so this is the first principle that we are working on just to select the diagram second one that we have to focus on selection of size how big or small the teaching learning material should be you see a visually impaired child is learning through his fingertips so if the size is too much then it is very difficult for him to understand the concept in one go if you can take an example of a table table is length is this breadth is this and height is some third dimension so he has to feel the first first the height then the breadth then the uh, first the length then the breadth then the height then he just needs to combine all those concepts to have the concept of the table so it is becoming difficult if the thing is large so as far as the size of the te teaching learning material is concerned let us Uh, focus on this, and it is said it is a studied-based effect that I am telling you. If it is a two-hand span like this, if it is two-hand span, uh, or precisely, if I am saying that it is a 14 inch long and 14 inch breadth, the size of the teaching learning material is. If it is like this, then a child with visual impairment can explore textually in one go. so the size of the selection is very also important then with watch with uh, what material you are going to make it the selection of material kis samagri se aap banane wale hain the selection of material as you know that this uh, fingertips are the eyes of the visually impaired children so we have to keep and they are very soft as for the children are concerned so we have to keep this fact in our mind to make uh, the teaching learning material and the the thread is a very a good item the good material to make the teaching learning material and the button the plastic buttons so this type of material which may not harm this uh, fingertips are used for making a teaching learning material and next point that we consider is use of colors i have seen so many teaching learning material being made for visually impaired students we do not i mean uh, we do not give more uh, emphasis on using colors because we see that uh, we know that 
they do not see the colors so it is not the case you just please use all the colors all the colors that are associated with natural things say for on the map there are blue color for water green color for forest so you use those universal colors so let us have at least the name of the colors or the concept of the colors and for um, your uh, I man just to repeat i am saying that uh, in the visually impaired uh, population there are more number of children or students or person having with low vision so we use the vision also so there must be a, a mention of the colors as well in the teaching learning material then there should be a nomenclature there should be a nomenclature in braille because the students are learning uh, in braille so nomenclatures are written or you see write the name in the braille and just paste it and when you paste it you simply uh, keep in mind that it should be from right to left because he is i mean trying to read the braille with the help of fingers from left to right so just do not paste top to bottom or diagonally just paste horizontally what you have written in braille so just because it makes a person to read easily uh, then it is uh, some uh, information that i wanted to give you on preparation of uh, the teaching learning material then at the same time we must focus on the presentation as well so there are three hours that we have to mention that right time right method and right material material should be right what is material that you call it right right material is that with the help of that material you can give your concept to the students uh right material is that the concept should not be changed sometimes when we uh, adapt the material adapt the teaching learning material the concept changes so it should not change the content should be same and right method is sometimes we describe we have to describe it also when we describe okay uh, just look at your right and i am standing in front of the learner then my right is his or her left so it may uh, create some confusion in understanding the direction so there must be a clear i mean uh, instructions and it would be better if i stand behind the learner then this problem is solved so method is again uh, is very important then time and today i am discussing the topic and if i say i will show you the teaching learning material tomorrow it is not the right time so then and there the teaching learning material should be uh, shown to the students so there are some uh, information that i have wanted to share it to you there are some more consideration that we will be discussing uh, while uh, i am in delivering on this uh, tlm for braille learning uh there are some more points to be considered number one is theme should be very clear you see teaching learning material is based on a theme uh so we uh, we can think of uh, in a different manner uh, on this topic that it may possible that the same theme can be discussed in the uh, period of science period of mathematics period of language even and uh, so theme should be clear there are so many schools where today's theme we will be discuss in all the i mean uh, periods whether it is a language or it is a science or it is a social science so themes should be very uh, should be made very clear on which you are making your teaching learning material so and one more point we have to uh, keep in mind is that no bombardment of the information we should not give so many information at the same uh, in the same teaching learning material because we have to i mean students has to uh understand through his uh, touch and you see touch has got its limitations uh, we can see so many things at the same times but uh, we feel we touch and feel one thing at one time then we go to another so touch needs a time so this is why it is said that if you bombard the information in the same teaching learning material it is again going to be difficult for him or her to understand then we should be having a scale actually uh sometimes when we make teaching learning material uh and if we talk of some um, teaching learning material in the in the subject of social sciences if it is a map i think so a scale must be there 
even if in the science the scale must be there you are showing a small i mean model of an animal so it is not that small it is bigger so this scale should be i um, mean taught or discussed in the that then and there so the scale should be there and in the, in case of maps uh, when you cover so much distance on the ground you have to move only this much on the paper so this is the scale and again the direction so many things to be considered while making any teaching learning material then description is also needed description is needed along with the presentation whenever you present your teaching learning material always describe because our students are uh, auditory learners and so always describe what you are showing or what you are presenting and then we follow the udl approach universal design approach that we discussed yesterday at length what is this you see since the learning is happened uh, with the help of so many uh, sense organs so we use all the residual sense organ that a particular student are having so it is a udl approach that we should follow in making teaching learning material so there are so many points that we i just wanted to discuss and just we move forward to the braille because uh, today we are more focusing on braille it is a actually it is a six dots based script it is a script not a language invented by louis braille all you know it is phonetic based it is based on the phonetics dhvani par adharit hai so all the all the languages can be written in the same script it is very i mean we have to learn only one script to write all the languages uh since it is phonetic based uh, in hindi a uh, and in english a and uh in other uh, languages same kind of uh, sounds are presented with the same dot one then b and ba with dot one and two p and pa with dot one two three four l la dot 1 2 3 k ka 1 3 so so many i mean uh, different different uh, uh sounds are represented with the same dot combination so i mean same uh, dot combination will give you different letters in different languages so it must be i mean keep in mind that it is a it is good it is good for us because we have to learn only one script to write all the languages but it is a must learning for all by all you see uh, why should i learn braille even uh, i know uh, visually impaired uh, people not learning braille they are not learning braille they have got certain amount of vision and even they don't have the vision then also the, then also they say that why should i learn braille they are not even uh, they should but they are not and then the sighted persons uh, their scenario is quite different but i say it is a must learning by all by all of us if we are concerned if we are concerned or taking interest in the education of uh, visually impaired population then we should learn braille so it is a must learning by all and for learning the braille we need tactile differentiation ability we uh, read braille by touch so it is a tactile differentiation ability and uh, we feel dot 1 dot 1 2 dot 1 2 3 whatever it is and there are so many very slight differences between the di different uh, combination of braille dots that we have to identify and differentiate so tactile differentiation ability we have to develop and for this uh, i would say for some persons who are totally i mean sighted persons and uh, actually they are ha they are in a habit of using their vision so if the person are having vision and they they are allowed they should they should be allowed to use vision as well they can use vision okay our purpose is that we learn braille whether you do it by touch it is very good okay and if you want to use your vision okay you do so and for that why i am saying this uh, there is similarity in the print and shape print shape and dot combination uh, so if you uh, focus on p 1 2 3 4 so so something something like like this and again in in the print p is is also written something like. so there is some similarity in, uh, so many I mean, letters of uh, English language so I mean we associate actually sighted person associate 
the shape of the print letter to the braille dots so if the if he is or she is uh, using his vision okay let him do and uh, because there is a similarity between the i mean shape and the dot combination so it is um, i mean advisable or uh, let them do what they want because our purpose is being solved uh, this third point or the last point in this uh, slide that i want to discuss it with you is it is related with touch and kinesthetic ability about braille i am saying it is related with touch and some uh, use of kinesthetic ability as well so for developing tactile uh, this uh, for developing tactile uh, yeah let me use the next uh, slide tactile ability we we need to use braille readiness activities braille reading readiness activities we call it and uh, we take it one by one actually uh, how a person learns to read braille it is difficult for even a blind person or totally visually impaired person to read braille all of a sudden he actually develops the tactile ability so how it is developed let me uh, let us discuss here so what we can do is we can make the person uh tactually discriminate different objects just he touch feel and discriminate different leaves you can take different stones small big papers different papers threads or even the rakhi festival is coming so the rakhi i mean that uh, thread uh, there are different kinds of threads you have you must have seen so that threads can be used just to make student feel the different textures pictures of small and big small picture big picture uh, let me uh, give you some examples and uh, yeah then smooth and rough surfaces differentiation between smooth and rough surfaces differentiation between pictures of big and small we use different objects like leaves stones naturally available easily available things around us papers different kinds of papers then flash cards of braille dots what we uh, can use is we just make a flash card and just put six dots and one braille dot just to differentiate between the positioning of dot 1 and dot 2 how it is different from uh, from dot 1 then dot 3 dot 4 5 6 same way so flash cards can be i mean uh, made and for this i just tell you that there must be a reference of all the six dots first then you put a dot so it will make clear where the dot is punched and so then we finally go to uh, braille dot sheets first braille uh, dot flash cards then braille dot sheets and let me uh, use this uh, i have got a file made by my students and and i want to show it to you how this this is braille reading readiness activities and i am just showing it a file how it is used and how it can be used so actually there are so many activities which are designed here it is a braille it is a braille reading readiness uh, file and there are so many activities i just wanted to show it to you uh you see here different textures different textures uh clothes different textures cloth having some uh, difference in their textures are pasted here and student are on the right side we have got a pocket the same kind of uh, clothes are put in the pocket also this activity can be done with the teacher uh, with the students that uh, they are asked to take the a uh, cloth out of the pocket and decide which cloth is i mean matching so this activity and there are so many other activities i am just showing it to you there is one one more same kind of you see uh, the the clothes are being cut with the with a, I mean, a triangular shape in a rectangular shape and in a square square is shape so there are different shapes as well 
and again the student may be asked to differentiate between the shapes and just ask him or her to pick uh, the different shape uh, paper and just to match the activity i am again giving you this can be this activity can be repeated with the uh, this paper as well i have cut it paper in a triangular size in a triangular size then a circular size then a squareish or a squareish size then this is a rectangular shape so different shapes can be shown to the student and let them identify different uh, kinds of uh, this shapes with the help of paper you can do with the help of clothes you can do and i am seeing there are two or three hands being raised and i as i just requested you to just have some patience and just write down on a text uh, chat box what your queries are or i will just take all the at the end if you ask in between then there must be uh, you see there may be a, uh, i mean disruption in my presentation so i just request you so again what we are doing it is a, some kind of you see a uh, circle and rectangle again same activity the matching activity can be done with the help of the students i will again show you uh, let me take some time you see there are so many kinds of threads you can make students identify there are activity there are, there are more activities you can design same kind of uh, material are put in the pocket let them uh, let the students take the material out of the pocket and match it with the whatever it is pasted here then we go then we go to uh, braille uh, flash cards as i told you there are flash cards on which या आई थिंक द कैमरा इज नॉट वर्किंग Oh, I have just asked the technical uh, person to just open the camera, and I am sorry that tech camera is not being uh, played here. Ca camera, camera, come here. Camera, नहीं चल रहा क्या? Yeah, camera, camera, come here. Am I audible? No, no, mute. Yeah. Okay, okay, and so the video is not on. Please check your if your video is not on, then you can go. Hmm. Okay, so now it is. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. okay. I think this is working now. What actually I am doing? I was doing here. I was just showing you some activities. फ्रेंड्सिंग clothes are cut in rectangle or triangular shape and they are pasted here and on the right side you are you are seeing a pocket and this pocket a student can be asked to take the cloth and match the activity match the cloth with the uh, cloth pasted here so matching activity can be done and there are so many kinds of you see uh, more uh, activities in this file same activities matching activities you simply you ask a student to pick the 
close out of the pocket and match with the whatever it is pasted here. So here you can do this activity with different shapes, different size, uh, different material, different textures. You can even use papers, clothes, leaves. There are so many uh, things that can be used. And again, then we go, uh, as I told you that it is not shown earlier. So thank you very much to our technical team. Uh, what I am showing it to you that I have cut this paper in a square shape, then a rectangle shape, then a circular shape, then a triangular shape. So you can give this kind of uh, this kind of material to the student to identify different shapes, different size, big, small and like this. And use all those different material, leaves, stone, paper, threads, pictures of small, big and differentiation between smooth, rough, then the braille cards, uh, flash cards. So I, I tell you that flash cards, uh, for the flash cards what you do is you simply take a small uh, piece of paper then you put first six dot, all the six dot, then you put dot number one on one flash card. Then again on the second it is dot number one two. So a student is able to differentiate between the positioning of dot number one and dot number two. Then we go to the I mean braille sheets. So again I am using this uh, file to show it to you. You see this is worksheet. This is worksheet number one. What we are doing? What we are doing here is ask the student to follow each braille line. Actually it is dot number 1414 like this. We are making a straight line and let him or her for, uh, just feel with touch that what it is and then you break this line you break this line the same line dot number 141414 then there's a break then again it is start dot number 141414 and again the second line the third line the fourth line so this is the worksheet worksheet number two you you can make this worksheet number one number two number three and in those all the activities you increase the difficulty level so that the students can identify the different positioning of all the dots then worksheet number three again there is a big gap in the lining dot the same dot number one four one four one four and there's a big gap you see the line has started and it stops and after a break it again starts so let him feel, let her feel the difference between the worksheet number two and worksheet number three. So this can be, these activities can be given to identify. Then worksheet number four, here some different a combination of dots are here. Uh, you can see uh, dot number one and dot number one again in another cell. Cell is different. Earlier it was the same cell. You see, one, two, three, four, five, so four, five, six is a cell, and there is another cell adjacent, another cell. So you are using the difference between the dots using different cells. So you are again making a worksheet file number four and ask the ask the visually impaired uh, learner to feel the difference between the worksheet number three and four, and again we make more difficult uh, exercise then what we are doing is we are making a line uh, 141414 then we are breaking it and just below again start with dot number 363636 it may be 252525 as well so a, a small amount of difference between the placement of the different dots so this can be another activity to be identified by the student in the worksheet number five uh, so these see what we are doing is we are simply increasing the difficulty level of the activity then we further move then we further move we are putting different dots dot number one 
in the first cell then dot number 1 in the second cell then the third cell then the fourth cell then all of a sudden all the six dots then again dot number 1 dot number 1 uh, in another cell another cell i mean different patterns different patterns of these braille dots are given in different exercises these can be i mean these can be used for identifying different positioning of the braille dots by a visually impaired uh, person or the child let me say and there are there may be more exercises there may be more exercises just to give them a good drill exercise actually uh, they just want to uh, practice and the practice makes a man perfect you know and since this uh, i mean learning of braille is totally depending on uh, this uh, as i told you the tactile ability so development of tactile ability is very much important for a uh, child to read in braille so this is very much uh, required so again you can say dot number 1 2 3 4 dot number 1 2 3 4 or you can say p p p p p or you can write g g g g g different combination of dots different sheet let him or her feel the difference between the position so these are the braille sheet that you can use uh for uh, making understand the positioning of braille dots you see that there is a very slight difference between the positioning of dot number 1 dot number 2 uh, and 3 again dot number 4 5 and 6 but we have to textually differentiate in order to read braille so there may be uh, just i was going to tell you the the different exercises that we can do uh with the our students just to make them uh, learn how to start reading braille then we go to another uh, i mean this slide development of tactile uh, ability i was just uh, showing you the file or uh, just putting you some more points uh, we can simultaneously give, we can give the activity of simultaneous comparison of different shapes and different size for identification pehchan ke liye hum alag alag tarah ki vastuon ko same samay par maan lijiye halki aur bhari hai na i put a weight of uh, say for half a kilo and a kilo on the right hand half a kilo on the left hand so we can easily identify which is heavier but if you put 400 and grams and half a kilo it is becoming more difficult to identify if it is even the difference is less activity is more difficult then uh, next activity may be roughness and smoothness identification then you again give so many i have just shown you the the file where all the activities were there they were designed just to differentiate between the roughness and smoothness of the textures uh, i again show you one a big kind of uh, board here and there is a texture board and these are different papers of different textures you just make the student feel and feel it understand the roughness or smoothness then find the difference so so many kinds of activities you can design just to make them differentiate between the different textures it will help them in learning braille so this kind of uh, activity again can be designed and let me uh, continue with my presentation so simultaneous comparison between the roughness and smoothness simultaneous comparison between different weights uh or there is one more thing i have seen pupil visually impaired pupil in the uh, in cold weather when it is a chill kind of weather in december january then they what they do is they simply rub their hands or some you see angithi se thoda sa usko garam karte hain then they read brain so it means there is some kind of um, less sensitization of these fingertips just to make them warm 
and just to make them warm. Why it is warm? Because the messages are being sent to the brain just to identify the different positioning. So uh, there are so many points to be kept in mind while you give different exercises to our uh, children. And then finally we move to activities. There are two or three more slides that I will discuss. Ordering of things or objects in ascending or descending order. Say for you, cut papers in triangular size, biggest, bigger, big, small, smaller. Then order in ascending order or descending order, just to put the things in ascending or descending order. Then classification of objects. Sup suppose you make the papers or the cardboard cut in a triangular or circular or rectangular shape then they, you can ask the learner to classify the objects or the cards according to their shape. Put triangular cards here, put circular cards there. This kind of activities can be I mean, done with the students. Then grouping, grouping by size, grouping by size, by shape again. You put all those triangular kind of things together. Put all those circular kind of objects together. So grouping by, shy, uh, by size and shape. Bigger things here, smaller things here. Then again grouping by hard and soft. There are so many things that are hard and some others are soft. Put hard things here, soft things there rough, smooth. So activities are the same but objects are different. Objects are same. Activities can be different. Maybe ordering, maybe, maybe classification, maybe grouping, maybe matching activities. So matching objects by their texture. So this kind of activities we will give our students to make him uh, understand the difference between different textures which will further I mean uh, further will be used in differentiating or in having the ability to differentiate between the, the feeling of different braille dots it is a it is a difficult activity actually for sighted person it is more difficult but as I have told you we have to learn braille because we have to teach braille to visually impaired children and there is, we have, uh, we have learned so many things. So if we learn Braille, what is the harm? It is even a, I mean, a, another feature in our cap that we also learn. We also know Braille. And we also know sign language. So many things that you can learn, you have to learn. So as a teacher, since you are, you are, you are having a different, I mean, kind of students in your classroom, their needs are different. Uh, they may learn in Braille, they may learn with sign languages, so we have to keep this whole uh, diversity of the students in our mind. Then again we move to another uh, slide and this is the last one uh, before, just one before the last. And material to be used, as I told you, material should be soft, material uh, should not harm the uh, fingertips of the students. So what we can use is different types of leaves, uh, different shaped cardboards, different textured clothes, stones, playthings. Students play, actually students like to play every time. So as uh, day before also I told you, we use their game time, the, their play time in the learning. So give different stones. I know there is a game uh, I play also in, a, in my childhood, you also must have played. There is a game that we just throw a stone and by jumping we go to that particular cross, uh, I mean that box and then pick up the stone then I mean move forward likewise. So and there are so many I mean <laughs> stones we <laughs> Uh, sometimes actually do not 
mention but we can also uh, to identify different small I mean just go on goalie cat there let's go we can identify where can play with those small things so what we are doing is we are simply developing our tactile ability then what is happening uh, some activities and as in previous slide I have told you there are so many activities of matching ordering classifying grouping that can be done with the help of the material above and finally teaching learning material for braille uh, because we are focusing on our braille learning so there is one more thing that I wanted to tell you is the word puzzle the word puzzle again I show you a big uh, teaching learning material it, actually it is a scrubble and you must have all know this what is a scrubble scrubble is just making of words uh, with different uh, with different letters so two or three students can play it you see uh, there are so many uh, squares boxes are being made here like a ch uh, chessboard then there are uh, things to be pasted some welcome is here and we have got some uh, a small a small this uh, flesh card on which G is written and number 2 is written so likewise we have got so many words written on the small cards what we can do is let us start a game and put it here G. Then what is happening? Uh, some other student or the player starts making words with the help of the cards that he has. Then he put, uh, you see, or if it is F, then F E E, Fi. We make a word. Then what is happening if another player starts with E and put L I C over it, then it is L I C E. Then third player player comes and put S on the top, then it is slice. Then again on the right side, another player may put A N G, so sing or sing or song or whatever. So in this way, words can be framed. So it is a game actually they will feel that we are playing but at the same time they are when um, they learn how to make different words so this is a scribble kind of uh, activity and there are places where is a green i mean green square uh, green uh, circular shape is being pasted here if you put a letter here then you get double the marks awarded or you are also having some kind of different textures and if you put a number of yours somewhere near where it is pasted you give you get three times the numbers so in this way you see there is a game and students can play and can learn how to make words can enjoy making words there are so many teaching learning material that can be made uh, for students and they use it then they try to learn they try to identify different textures they try to identify difference between the braille dots and there is no reason again I say uh, where students cannot learn braille we also can learn braille we have learned braille actually so it is now a turn on your part to make your students learn there are so many teaching learning material that we can make that will help in their learning of braille so it is from my part my presentation is now being you see finished it is over now now i just uh, i'm waiting for the next I mean the speaker or the resource person Dr. Manoj Kumar ji he will be talking to you and meanwhile I as I have told you if there is a chat box questions then we can take otherwise I will hand it over to Dr. Manoj Kumar ji for their discussion 
and as i asked you earlier in my beginning of the session there was a delay i am sorry for that even though it was not my fault it was all i mean technical fault from the organizers so i thank you all for listening to me i thank rehabilitation council of india for giving us the opportunity to organize this cre uh, we will be having three more sessions today then at the last we will be having the assessment and as i have come to know from all of you that in the assessment you people have faced some uh, problem yesterday so now i have asked them i have written them then they have uh, promised us that they will increase the timing of the response from 30 seconds to 1 minute so if it is so then it will help uh, you all to give your answers well and uh, if some actually there are visually impaired participants also for answering the particular multiple choice question in 30 seconds is very difficult we can understand so i have written to rci they have understood the problem i think and i hope and that they will allow us more time so i just wish you all the best for the coming sessions and the assessment and i hope that you will get the required cre points thank you thank you very much i manoj kumar sir are you listening to me manoj kumar ji uh, thank you sir yes yeah, sir please please join us uh, for your session किसी तरह से निपटाया किसी तरह से निपटाया